Hello, my loves. I pray all of us are keeping safe and maintaining social distancing in these trying times. I know it's been awfully quiet here and your girl has been MIA for a while. But first, this week's project is a part two of this bed cover transformation that I did on this project, which I've linked in the description box in case you missed it. This is one of those prints and fabrics that I really, really loved and was excited to work on this design in particular. which I transformed to this cute dress that I love so much. Now I know we are collectively going through a tough time currently and I've been coping thankfully well, being buried basically in two major things. One is being a couch potato just as much as I've been productive and buried in creating with the other half. I decided to take it easy and digest each day as it unfolds so whenever my creative juices just piled up I got lost in creating and the other half literally on the couch binge watching series and movies. I'd like to know how you guys have been coping so please let me know and if you'd like to see how this look came about then just keep watching. Now I realized that I lost all the footage I had for the beginning of this project which made me shed literal tears so please just bear with me what i basically did was take the remaining set of fabric and trace the bodies and scat bottom that led to this and i installed the hidden zip at the back from here i took the remaining set of fabric and straightened the edge then cut a 10 inch thick strip I then measured the length of the other piece and straightened the edge then folded it in half to have two equal strips that were 7 inches thick. I then took the other strip and split it in half as well to have two 5 inch strips. These I joined on one side to have one long 5 inch thick strip and a separate 7 inch one then hemmed one side of each on the longest side. I then did loose long running stitches on the other open side and made gathers. I did the exact process for the other piece and joined these two pieces with a shorter strip on top and the longer one at the bottom, having measured my desired circumference of the bottom of my dress.
I then undid a small section of the back middle joint and aligned this strip around the dress and stitched it in place with the right sides for both facing each other. I then stitch the back joint close. I still had some other pieces left so I took one and straightened the sides and manipulated it to make a strip. In reference to my measurements then hem the long edge sides. I then made pleats like so and stitched it down. I did the same for the other side. These I pinned at the ends of the front and back top sections of the dress like so, then stitch them in place. I then did overlock on the entire dress and with that I was all done. Here's the final look that I think is such a cute number and would fit those outdoor events that would make one want to feel classy and still make a bold statement. Do share your thoughts and let me know if it's a number that you'd add to your collection. Until the next one, I wish you safety, good health and a sane mind with ample rest as we continue to soldier on together during this quarantine period. Please, please stay safe and I cannot wait to share everything that I've created during this period. See you guys soon. Until the next one, bye loves.